as someone trying to learn or advance your makeup skills we're going to be ditching all of the advanced makeup steps and in today's video i'm just going to be showing you four to six simple steps you can use for your everyday makeup routine so the first thing is that you want to have a beautiful makeup base not a perfect base just good enough and most people say first base is your primer or moisturizing your skin no your first base is your skin I'd rather you spend 1000 on skincare products and 50 pounds on makeup products than spending 1000 on makeup products and 50 pounds on skincare products. You can use any moisturizer of your choice, find out your skincare type and get the right moisturizer for you. Next step would be your brows. You can just go to a stylist, a professional stylist to have your brows shaped. If you cannot draw them, they might as well look drawn. And that will be an easy start to draw your brows. I don't have mine shaped now because I've not had time to go to the stylist. If I check my brows, you wouldn't be seeing this um, overgrown ones underneath and on top because they would shape them out. Trust me, this thing, this thing doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to overthink it. As far as you, you're comfortable with it and you look nice, what other people say is not really your business like that. So once I'm done with that, I like to go in with a dry mascara. I think probably one that's already finished that you have. Or if you don't have that, you can just use the edge that's like here. next thing you want to do is to go in with your liner for your eyes you can do this without a cello tape but i'm just going to be showing you guys cello tape trick that i first used when i started out on top of your under eyelid in a straight you cannot straight in the diagonal right diagonal line and then you go in with your I think this thing is too long. I might reduce it, but let it repeat. So once you're done, you take it out. And then voila, this is what it looks like. But if you also want to go a little bit extra, you can line under your eye. Don't do it too much so that it doesn't start smearing. Before you start lining your lips, you just want to like moisturize it a bit. I use this chapet. But you can use Vaseline, you can use anything you have. If I really wanted to have like a natural, 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 natural look, I'd use brown. But if I'm going for something makeup y, something that I want to show that I like did makeup, I usually use black. You can see that for my brows, I don't use black. Please don't use black for your brows. Please, I beg you. Don't use black for your brows, use brown. You can see I did line my lips, but it's not like popping out the way I really wanted to pop out. So I'll go in with black. Some people will stop here and then just go out, but uh, no, we're not stopping here. You can use this kind of lip gloss, you can use this kind of lip gloss, you can use any type of lip gloss that you like. But personally, I like to go in with a lip glow oil. I don't know, this thing just does wonders for me for some reason. Like, it's just really nice. I want to apply generously. Apply as generously as possible. If I'm going to like class or church or anything and I don't want any drama, I just go like this with a lower, like shorter eyeliner, of course. I don't know why it makes it so long, but it's not bad still. But if I'm going for like a wedding and I just want a bit of drama, I usually add lashes. Depends on the kind of volume that you like. I personally don't like like all these lashes that I'll be shouting, but it also depends on what I'm doing. Or I just go with like simple ones like this. I usually use this classic super glue for my lashes, but I got some from Timo and I absolutely want to try them out. I want to see what they look like. Oh, see? Ah, it's coming out from the bomb. Okay, voila. So we're just going to apply it like this, leave it to dry. I reduced it. All I did was just use my hands, clean it off like this till I reach my desired length. So I don't have tweezers, but I do have a lot of contact lenses and then I have these applicators that came with them. I'm just going to use that as my tweezer because why not? Lashes on top of your actual lashes. For some reason when I was in school, I was very good at putting lashes for people. Like my best friends were like pro pro makeup artists. I don't know why I didn't pick one or two from them. 
but you see lashes i don't use to fix your lashes for them that's how good i was with fixing lashes this what is this one this way the lashes i'll stress you you know what the lashes does for you lashes really brings out your makeup for my last tip you can use brown powder but the reason why i don't use brown powder is because i have very oily skin and if i start to secrete the brown powder is just going to be like all oily oily on my face so i don't like brown powder i usually go white powder call it old-fashioned or whatever you want to call it but this is the goat right here and it's very very easy to reapply i mean brown powder is easy to reapply but it accumulates like so much more on your face Now remember, this is the basic. So much more you can add on. You can add on bits of bronzer on your lip, on your nose line, your cheeks, blush. Be creative. Makeup is not supposed to be like a mechanical routine. Jeez, this is my hair. Popping out. Very simple, easy to run to, and very, very beginner friendly. Like I said, your makeup is subjective. But all other people think makeup is is not your business. It's just you trying to beautify your face as much as you can and feeling confident in it. Feel confident in it. I can tell you for a fact that if I had done this makeup in like 2020, I'll probably not be able to go out to see that. I'll be like, oh my god, no, no, it's trashy. Why? Because I keep comparing it to like other advanced pro makeup artists. But guess what? They started like this too. I can absolutely rub this look anywhere anywhere okay okay so guys this is what the look looks like outside and i'm liking it i'm loving it. i feel like i've even gotten better because we can only get better from here you feel me so guys that brings us to the end of this video let me know what you guys think about this look let me know what you liked what you do not like what you feel like i've done better and I'll be sure to see you guys in my next video.